All right, guys, in the last couple of days, the SEC has gone completely nuclear. You know what that means? It means get your crypto off those exchanges now, especially the US exchanges, because you don't know how and where Gary Ginsler is going to strike next. Brian Armstrong has said that the case against Coinbase is unlike the case against other crypto exchanges. I don't know if you can actually believe that or not, because not only have they sued Binance and Coinbase, both for listing the same unregistered securities, they've actually gone nuclear in this war. All right. They've actually uh, asked to freeze Binance.us's assets, which means if you have money on Binance.us and the SEC forcibly uh, causes them to freeze. And I hope the judges actually deny this action because I don't think uh, the assets on Binance.us for customers are in any danger unless the SEC freezes them. Um, they could do it to Coinbase or anyone else as well. And I don't think the situation is that different from Coinbase than from Binance.us or any other exchange. They could also go against Kraken or anyone else in the US on the flip of a dime. Like, it just seems like they're suing people left and right, and there's no limits on who or what they can actually sue for, and they're looking to issue injunctions to freeze assets as well. So not only Binance.us could be targeted, but Coinbase, Kraken, any of those other exchanges could actually be targeted, including Gemini and all those others, regardless of how much they say they've complied with regulations and have worked with regulators, because that all means a whole lot of nothing. Ripple, Coinbase, etc. they've all worked with regulators, as they like to say, but in the end, that meant absolutely nothing to the SEC, nothing to Gary Gensler, and this guy is on a warpath. I think he knows his time is running out, so he needs to extract as many compensations and as much money from these uh, companies as actually possible, because I don't think, I think in the back of his head, he knows he's not going to win every one of these lawsuits. But in the meanwhile, this could actually take a very, very long time, and regardless if Bitcoin goes up or down, it does not look like the SEC's um, action have actually affected the market all that much. It's basically recovered today, as you can see. Um, realistically, uh, you know, the thing is like, you, your coins might actually be stuck on a U.S. exchange if the SEC decides to issue or try to issue some injunction against it, and you don't want that to happen. You know, it could be stuck there for a number of days, a number of weeks, a number of months. We just don't really know what the plans the SEC actually has, and there could be a lot of legal trouble regarding the company. Now, they're saying that they're doing this to protect customers, but they're not really protecting anyone, because I don't think anyone's really had that much trouble with drawing from Binance or Binance.us. Well, if you're a US customer, you might actually have trouble withdrawing, withdrawing from Binance.com because you're not really supposed to use it anyways, but that's kind of like your fault. They actively try to block out all US IP addresses from registering at .com. If you use a VPN and then lie on the KYC, I mean, that's kind of on you. So I don't really blame them for doing that. But the thing is like, you need to get your money off those exchanges. Uh, don't put it on Atomic Wallet either because that's an awful idea. But I don't care if you have to put it on Ledger, Trezor, or you have to use like the official wallet. You should you should do one of those because if you don't, you definitely might be hurting in the future. So get your money off those exchanges. Know that the SEC has gone nuclear and they're willing to do anything to get these exchanges out of the United States. I don't know if their buddies are planning to open up an exchange or whatever, or they want these big banks to take over these exchanges, but either way, they're going nuclear and there's no predictions of what they can actually do. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.